For optimal results, please view my crochet braid tutorial using Marley Hair linked below to learn about my installation techniques. On August 9th, I installed crochet braids using Marley Hair, and after numerous failed attempts, I was finally successful at achieving the super sultry, sexy, make them look twice luscious curls. But do not be disillusioned. Marley Hair changes drastically over time. So check out my hair on August 24th. The curls, a little less curly, maybe even wavy or straight. The shine is a bit dull and even dry looking. And the back is a crime scene. But I surveyed my hair searching for good curls. And good curls are still springy and coily at the ends. But these clumps are no good. These hairs need to be separated and individually cared for. Now, I even rotted my hair in certain sections one additional time, but I still wasn't happy. Someone asked if Marley hair becomes dry over time, and the answer is yes, but that's to be expected. And the ends may even become frizzy, but don't be alarmed. It can all be changed for the better. You just have to survey your hair and really scout out the individual sections that require the most attention to re-establish the curl pattern. And as standard, I begin detangling and then I apply my Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream and holding the hair taut, I begin to tightly coil the hair around the cold wave rod. Make sure that the hair is coiled as tightly as possible to restore the curly, coily, springy nature of the hairstyle. And as an additional measure, you can even go through to look for pieces of the hair that are no longer curly and may even have knots or tangles, like those spider web sections of the hair that just do absolutely nothing. Yeah, cut those out with your hair shears. It will make the style look much neater. And I just, I just hit my little, my little shmine. I just, it was late and I was going crazy, but. Let me stop. Okay, so if you have highlights in your hair, this is for you. Highlights are different than your natural hair color, so you must give them the most attention as they stand out the most. All of my blonde and or number 27 hair pieces were curled to perfection because they need to look the best as they are the most noticeable. Because I didn't need to curl every section of my hair, I was able to clip the excess away and prepare for the dipping process. And I'm just going to dip my hair for 15 to 30 seconds. I like to do it a bit longer just to enhance the overall curl and make sure you have your towel draped around you like James Brown. And this is how many rods I have in my hair and I let them dry for over 10 hours I couldn't do anything I was just uh. but because I let my hair dry for so long I was able to take the rods out super quick and the hair was so coily and if you want to expedite the drying process just blow dry your hair 10 minutes before you take it out I promise it works And the same for the bang portion of my hair. It was just so coily. Now, you're like, but you didn't even curl all of your hair. What did you do? So I got this spray bottle. I filled it with some cool water. And I just started dousing the section that was not curled. Then I took my Lotta Body Moisturize Me Curl in Style Milk. And I just really lathered this onto the hair. And this is going to be so perfect. Just watch what I do next. And so I'm going to put all of my hair into a bag. This is the moisturizing baggy method. And I'm going to spray a little bit more water. And I'm going to clip this bag closed so that it's a sealed environment. And I'm going to let that sit for like 10 to 20 minutes. And the magic that happens is incredible. Watch when I take my hair down, okay? 
So that dullness that you were seeing, gone. This hair is shiny, it is lustrous, it's bouncing back. But you gotta lay your edges down. People do not believe in your hair if your edges are not laid. And if you are interested in any of the products I am discussing, I will leave my curl kit link below. And so I'm using the Lotta Body Control Me Edge Gel and I really, really like this. It's super moisturizing and it lays those edges down without a hard, greasy film. And once you do that, look at this, you are done. Thank you. The back looks fabulous, no more crime scene. And I hope you guys enjoyed this maintenance routine. I hope it helps. Leave your questions below. Thank you so much for watching.